Silicon Elastic Container Surface or Amazon EPS. This is a service that allows you to run Docker containers, uh, to run a cluster of Docker containers, and then run tasks or services on them. So let's see how we create a cluster. So from AWS Management Console, we find, click the ECS. Now ECS is a EC2 cluster or a Fargate cluster. Fargate has um, minimum maintenance uh, requirements or maintenance effort. Everything happens automatically, but it's a little bit uh, more expensive if uh, your workload is full. And using Fargate, you are not able to mount a persistent storage. And EC2, uh, ECS cluster using EC2 is more manual. You have uh, more control over mount points, EBS mounts, uh, and uh, the price is slightly cheaper than Fargate. But if your utilization is not 100% or 90%, EC2 is actually uh, a bit more expensive than Fargate. So I want to create a cluster. I want to create a cluster for my NFS share. So I want to create using EC2 cluster. Uh, this is, if you want Fargate, uh, use this one. But I want the EC2 cluster. And my EC2 cluster will be this. So, and then you can choose the provisioning on demand or spot. And then choose the instance. So, I will only need a very little amount of memory. So, I can choose the nano one. For nano, there are three, T3 nano, this is for Intel, and T3A nano is for AMD processor. The AMD one is a little bit cheaper than the Intel one. Nano has only about 500, uh, 500 megabytes of RAM. And we can put number of instances, I only have one instance here. And I will choose the key pair. If you don't have one, you need to create it first. And choose the VPC. And then choose the subnet that you want to use. I want to use uh, my driver subnet. It's the US East 1A. And the security group. I will create a security group for EFS, this one, and uh, you can create a new security group. Uh, okay, let, let me create a new security group just to make it uh, much easier to follow. So this is my security group. Okay, default PPC and And to create this security group, okay. So now, after creating the security group, I need to set up the inbound rules. So, first, I need to be able to SSH to the instances in the ECS, and then I need to be able to uh, mount 
from a particular uh, security group that I have set up. So this is the instance that we need to be able to access that. Okay, so I need to check first. Uh, what are those? Okay, so my security group is uh, this one. So I have a Moodle instance. So I need to copy the security group name. So I want to be able to uh, the instances in this security group can access this EFS, uh, this NFS. Okay. So that means now uh, I can use this security group. Okay, let me recreate this again. It's to Linux networking. And then my cluster name is NFS model. I will create P3A nano one instance my key pair. Default PPC, run a subnet, NFS model security group, and you can leave this default or if you want to have a IAM role for this container instance. And this will enable uh, better uh, insights. So I think uh, we'll have more. Okay. So there is an additional cost for this. Uh, by default, there is a mat there are metrics that are provided uh, by default, and it's um, already included. But if you enable container insights. This will increase the cost for the cluster. So we can create the cluster. This will take some time. It's maybe almost one minute, I think. Okay, so this one is almost ready. So when you create an ECS cluster, it is done. It will create, <coughs> uh, you will use the security group that uh, you have set up. So actually, there should be a new security group here. Okay, uh, this is the Security group that we have created. This one. And then uh, it will create a launch configuration and auto scaling group. So now it is ready and we can run services and test on this. Thank you.